Welcome to JK Today. I'm Joey. And I'm Caden, and we are in the Christmas spirit, so uh, let's get ready to party! <laughs> Woo! Welcome yeah. back, everybody. Welcome back. Another week. Yeah. Here we yep. are. Here we are. Thank another, you for uh, joining us. Another week closer to Christmas. Yep. Getting closer, inch by inch. Oh baby, I got yep. my uh, I got my Christmas flamingo. Huh? What you got? I got some some Bob's Whoa. Burger. I did not even look at your shirt until yeah. just now. Yeah, I didn't even realize it was a Bob's Burgers Christmas shirt. Yep. Sweater. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and uh, happy holidays, everybody. Um, this week's uh, featured snack uh, from requested requested from my wife. Yes. Uh, gimme? 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 Gimme. Gimme organic, extra, extra virgin olive oil, premium roasted seaweed. Clever name. Yes. Gimme. Gimme. Now, have you ever had uh, seaweed before? I have had seaweed before. Roasted seaweed? Re roasted seaweed. Okay. Uh, my wife loves the snacks from Costco. Um, is that where this is from? She buys the pack, so I don't know if that's, that's where this one's from. Awesome. But Costco does sell a pack of seaweed, roasted seaweed snacks. Okay. Was not a fan. All but right. I'm willing to give it another try. So my wife has gotten a couple other seaweed uh, packs before, and they were super fishy. Yeah. Um, this mm -hmm. does not smell as fishy as those other ones did. Okay. Okay. Um, I think... She might have made me try this. I'm not sure if I've had it yet, but I've had the fishier ones. Let's, let's give it a can't, go. I can't remember the brands of those ones, but um, let's see how it is. Now, you like seaweed? You eat no. Do you like sushi? I like sushi. Okay. You have rolls with the... Yeah, with the, with the seaweed, but seaweed itself is a snack. No. Oh. I haven't been a fan of what I've tried. Okay. Well, it's a new huh. craze, obviously, huh? Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Damn. Let's do it. Very light. You know yeah. Like it. Yeah, not too fishy, not too salty. No, it reminds me of the, the aftertaste you get from like a miso soup. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Feels like I'm at the beach. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I'd go out <laughs> and buy them. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. But. It's not my first. It's uh, not my. Seaweed's not my cup of tea. Yeah. Pretty good though. Yeah, pretty I mean, good for some seaweed. I mean, I took a second bite, so that's better. Than yeah, I, I grabbed another one. I mean, I'd rather have. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather have a, a, a roll like a California roll or something like that. Yeah, a spicy I... tuna. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Love pretty me good. Some spicy tuna. Go go check out some Gimme Me Organic Seafood Seaweed 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 Seafood. You know, comes from the same source. Oh well, we're drop we're dropping everything. Everything, drumsticks, snacks. Okay. okay. Um, so how's your week, man? Anything fun? Yeah, my week was good. Um, we went out as a family to cut down a Christmas tree at Holloway oh, Farms. Nice. Um, so that was a first for us. So that was we just got good. our Christmas tree in freaking Food Max parking lot. So. Yeah, we do that every year. Yeah, and um. It was kind of funny because the end of last year, my wife wrote like a wish list for this year and oh. put it in the the Christmas box. Oh, wow. And that's I didn't a good know. idea. And so when I got out the Christmas box, it was Christmas 2022. That's a great list. idea. And we checked off quite a few of them. One of them was to cut down our own tree this year. Wow. And so, yeah, so that was pretty well, fun. That's cute. Wow. That's Fun. It's an interesting idea. I think we're going to keep that tradition going. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, so how about you? How was your week? Yeah, got a tree. Uh, decorated it. Um, having a little a uh, little ugly sweater Christmas party next weekend. Yeah, looking forward uh, to that. That yeah, should be fun. Um, we, uh, we helped my mother-in-law uh, make some decorations for her tree. 
nice. Uh, with just some like shrinky dink little plastic cups. You yeah. you draw on the cups and you put them in the oven, and they they shrink into like a little disc, <laughs> and then you you punch a hole in it and you hang it up on the Christmas tree. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was the first time. It was my yeah. first time. It was fun though. That's cool. Um, yeah, that was really cool. Um, yeah, all the all little cousins were running around. It was fun hanging out. Um, Good times. Yep. And uh, been watching. Uh, we talked about last week Wednesday. Wednesday, yes. Uh, man, great. If you're not watching Wednesday, you're, you're missing out. You're messing up. Yeah, man. This, what are your life choices? This is a great show. It is. It is. It's. It's wonderful. Yeah. Um, I can't say enough good things about it. Yeah. I love the different beasts. Yeah. That are represented in it. Yeah. I fell yeah. asleep. But last... it's not. It doesn't feel like forced. Like they're like trying to like include all these beasts. It just. It yeah. feels organic. It like does. It's, it's a good show. I like it. Yeah. I fell asleep. We fell asleep watching episode three, I think, maybe four yeah. last night. Uh, but we are all caught up on uh, White Lotus. Mm. I still got to start that. <laughs> oh man, White Lotus is real good. Now you haven't seen you haven't seen that at all, right? So, no. Uh, Nicole Kidman's in the first season. Oh really? I think we've talked about this before. Yeah. Pretty sure Nicole Kidman. I think that's right. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, she's not in season two. But so good. Um, yeah. yeah, caught up on that. I think we're waiting for the season finale. Probably, I think, tonight. Oh. Um, Good timing. So we'll follow up on that next week. Um, and also, the time of year, uh, the Santa Clauses. Oh, yeah? Yeah, with Tim Allen. I just learned about this tonight. It's on Disney Plus. When we were talking, I'm going to definitely check that one out. We're, I think that'll be... We're on episode two or three, I think. Yeah. Oh, my God, it's so good. It, it just <laughs> picks up. Picks up right where the the movie left off. Nice. Yeah. That's uh, cool. Yeah. Yep. And I, I I looked it up and it has a lot of the same characters mm-hmm. from yeah, the like movies. It, yeah. So it, it the kids sure are all grown up now. Like, yeah. yeah. It's, it's good. Yeah. I didn't remember the kids, but my wife did, and she she popped for it. <laughs> she liked that. That's cool. Maybe we'll watch the originals <clears throat> here again. Yeah. Yeah. Catch up soon. Um, yep. Uh, a little follow up from last week. Uh Claudia Claudia commented. Keeping thank, it consistent. Thank, thank Claudia. you, Claudia. Uh if you would like to drop a comment, uh please do. Please. Please. Uh where are you at? Uh Garamo and Michael Zappo and um who commented last week? I think there's three comments. Gar- oh, and uh, and Jared. Mm. Um, Claudia says, "Welcome back, guys. I do like sardines with scrambled eggs. Mm. It's a keto dish. Uh, Acquired taste." I'm. Oh yeah, thinking. we're still gonna have to get some sardines here. <laughs> uh, truth is, all oils turn bad after oxidation that causes inflammation i rarely use oils for cooking because of it i use lard ghee butter tallow they are considered healthy fats a little correction from last week uh when i said when i was talking about making uh making the cashews yeah i didn't use i I said we used the avocado oil or uh olive olive oil but no i use i put butter i put grass-fed butter Mm. These cashews, cook mm. it on the Traeger. Mm. So good. They are delicious. Mm. I wish you could have some. You could. I have yourself a Traeger. Just do it. Smoke yourself some nuts. Mm-hmm. Um, we didn't get any top five nut comments this week. No, we didn't. But you can still comment. Yeah. I like the hot take segment. We like our nuts around here. You're going to love our nuts. <laughs> All right. In some states, the tip is their salary, so they depend on those tips. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I delivered pizza, so I know all about living off of those tips. Um, 
Bodybuilders tend to take steroids, so no, they aren't healthy. I mean, yeah, I'm sure some do, but not all of them do. I mean, there's... I'm sure there's some... You can't say all... Legit. You can't say all bodybuilders take steroids, because that's not true. <laughs> I don't take steroids. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm not a bodybuilder. You're, 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 building, you're building the belly. Building the belly. <laughs> Me too. Got my, my winter coat on. Mm-hmm. Uh, upper body workout is important. Older folks have a hard time lifting themselves because their upper body strength is no longer strong enough. Yeah. Uh, great show, guys. Have a great week. Thank you, Claudio. You have a great week, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of this week, um, uh, national we had National Bathtub Party Day. It reminds me of a, a Shel Silverstein poem. Who? Shel the um. Do you ever see the book The Light in the Attic? Or... Not a book guy, really. That's it. They were like kid poems, like okay. funny poems. But there's one that says, "There's too many kids in the tub. There's too many elbows to scrub." That makes sense. Bathtub party doesn't sound like a good party to me. Uh, yeah. When's the last time you took a bath? No. Years. Yeah. Like taking a bath? I guess not really, but I jacuzzi. Yeah, like a jacuzzi tub bath, like at a little at a hotel or something. Yeah. Uh, I think I did that, that last counts. year, maybe. Yeah. yeah, actually, yeah. Oh yeah, at the, <laughs> and, uh, at the resort. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah we right. stay at the Hilton Resort. Uh, <laughs> so uh, my wife uh, had the bright idea because we wanted to have a bubble bath, right? Uh, she did not realize that you should not use dish soap, however. <laughs> and um, a little too bubbly. The bubbles like <laughs> filled up the entire bathroom. <laughs> like <laughs> it was the funniest thing. <sighs> That's funny. Yeah, it's like this much water in my yeah <laughs> bubbles. Good everywhere. times. Good times. That was fun. We should. Yeah. <laughs> Bathtub tip. Number one, don't use this don't show. Use dish get, soap. get some bubbles, bubble yeah. soap. I'm not sure what the difference is. I feel like in some like '80s movies, there were some like kids that did laundry and put dish soap in the yeah. the wash machine. I remember, I remember my um, if I could talk. My mom told me a story how in high school they used to put dish soap or bubbles in the um, the the fountain. Downtown, big oh, old, really? big old fountain downtown. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good funny. idea. Yeah. Um, good stuff. We had what? International Ninja Day. Oh, did you ever want to be a ninja when you were a kid? <laughs> I was just gonna ask you that. All um, the time. Like, yeah, I am a ninja. What are you talking yeah, about? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> National Gazpacho Day. Oh. Gazpacho? What, what is gazpacho? I believe gazpacho is cold soup. Cold it's like soup. Like Italian cold soup. You have any favorite gazpacho soups? I can't say that I do. Me neither. Yeah. No. National Microwave Oven Day. Yeah. That was good to mention. Got a little microwave and a pinch. Yeah. Uh, National Cotton Candy Day. I love cotton candy. Dude, cotton candy is good. It's like eating air candy. Clouds. Cloud candy. Like if clouds had a taste, mm. it would be cotton candy. Mm. Prove me wrong. <laughs> um, National Letter Writing Day. Oh. You know, my grandma, she's 96 now. Wow. Um, but she still has, like, quite a few family members that she writes letters to consistently. That's impressive. Yeah. When was the last time you wrote a letter? Oh, man. Like, wrote a letter. Probably like ju- junior school? high. Right? Yeah. yeah. Remember pen pals? Yeah. My uh, youngest, he's in fourth grade. He, he has a pen pal. They still do pen pals mm-hmm. in school? Yeah. They're like in San Diego, I guess. It's so weird pals. when you just have the internet now and you can just like message each other, right? Yeah. So, yeah, they're still working on that. Wow. That penmanship. 
Huh. Who would have thought? Crazy business. Keeping, keeping the old school alive there. <laughs> yeah. uh, National Brownie Day. Huh. Gotta love brownies, yeah. right? Yeah, but are you a middle of the brownie pan guy oh, or a corner edge guy? I thought guy? you were going to ask me a special brownie type of guy. Um, <laughs> uh, definitely, I like me a corner piece. Yeah. I like the crisp. The yes. crisp. At all. Yeah. But I'm, I'm not going to discriminate. No. Special brownie, brownie. regular brownie, brownie, corner piece brownie. I don't yeah. care. Knowingly, unknowingly. I don't know. Yeah. Throw it at me. Mm hmm. Uh, lost and found, eh? Lost you, and found. You ever is, lost and found yeah, something? Lost and found is my friend. It, my kids are notorious for leaving their jackets at school. Oh man, I used to do that sometimes. Yeah, I never thought it was a big deal when I was doing it. Yeah, but now that my kids are doing it, <laughs> I see. I I see why it was important to bring my jacket. And they don't have a jacket. And yeah, because yeah, yeah. then you have to buy a new jacket. Yeah. It's like, uh... Um, yeah. and we had National Pastry Day. Mm. You have a favorite pastry? I mean, is a donut a pastry? Yeah, I guess. Well, right? I mean, I think we've had this conversation. Yeah, pastry. Kind of my. More recent favorite is like the Mexican bread. Okay. Like with the they have like the pink tops and yeah. the yellow tops. Oh, they're good, huh? Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. That's some. It's what? not quite donut, <laughs> but not quite bread. All right. It's it's like a a morning cake. It's delicious. They always seem so hard and bland to me. But I know my father in law loves them. Maybe I'll have to try one. Yeah. It's. Uh, I think I mean, I've been scared. Yeah. I just feel like they were just like. And they, they have these little um, pig shaped ones. I forgot the Spanish name for them, but um, they're like a molasses cookie. Oh, man. Molasses cookie. Delicious stuff. If you know, you know. I, I'm probably not doing it justice the way I'm describing it, but. Hey, I'll try. Delicious. I'll try it. Maybe I'll bring it next week. Some Let's festive, do it. Some festive breads. What else did you bring us? You you brought us um. Oh, I brought us some almond roca. Nothing says holidays like almond roca to me. Okay. And um, I found some dark chocolate one, and I love. No, I'm not sure. I've. I've had. I don't know. If, I don't know if I've had it. Mm. It's, it's really good. It's really good. I've had the. Almond roca before or ro roca? Uh, yeah. I don't know, but I'm intrigued. Yeah, I mean it's. I can't remember. Oh, they're all individually wrapped. <laughs> okay, but it's toffee. Usually, it's a milk it's, chocolate over it, it. It's toffee. This is toffee. English toffee. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things. It's kind of like a peanut, I love peanut brittle. Consistency, okay. if you will. I'm like sold. I love me some dark chocolate. Like, don't think it's a soft candy. All right. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. Mm. That dark chocolate's a lot better on it. Than the milk? Mm hmm But... I like dark chocolate. So do I. I mm -hmm. definitely prefer dark chocolate now. As a kid, I totally liked milk chocolate way more. Oh, yeah. I don't know why, but my mom was always into dark chocolate. I was like, mm. But then they grew on me. And now that's what I go to. Good stuff. Mm. Mm. Now, those are way better than I uh, remembered or expected. <laughs> They're a dangerous little candy. Mm. Oh man! Yeah. You also got us some uh, some cheeses, some cheeses, uh, some sharp cheddar, Asiago, Asi Asiago, Asiago, Asiago. There you go. And some uh, roasted red pepper and cracked peppercorn. Well, open those bad boys up. Dryer cheese. 
Gruyere. 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 Yeah. Tomato, tomato. You know, the other white cheese. The other white cheese. <laughs> I'm down to try some cheese with some sausage. Uh, yeah, that's some habanero sausage to go with the cheeses. Mm. Okay. There you go, buddy. Make it happen. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I'm going to start with the, the pepper cheese. So that's pepper. Was it? That was Asiago? Asiago. And this is? So this is a pepper greer. And this is sharp cheddar. Sharp cheddar has always been kind of a weird one for me. Really? That one's okay. Sharp cheddar is the fan favorite at my house. Just like by itself? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's what we make our grilled cheeses with. I make homemade mac and cheese with it. Hmm. Quesadillas. Wow. I think I, I think I prefer the Asiago. Mm. Got kind of a smoky flavor. Yeah, definitely more of an Asiago guy. Mm. What about you? I, I like the grayer. Okay. Yeah, that's my second fave. It's got, it's really creamy. Mm. I like it. Goes well with uh, some roasted nuts. All right. Well, or some nicely triggered sausage. Mm. Man, not trigger. Mm. Oh shoot! You know what we forgot to do? What did we forget to do? Uh, we forgot to tell everybody to hit the mm. like button, <laughs> uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that thing a bell. Mark for edit. <laughs> twenty two minutes. Twenty two minutes in, and uh, yeah, forgot that. That's the new uh, fad on YouTube shows, though. What's that? To do it in the middle of the show. Oh, well, man. All yeah. right, we're gonna start it. There we go. We got, <laughs> we got it down, and we're ahead of the game. Trend setters. All right, let's get into it. Let's start having some fun here. All right. Let's get into this week's hot takes. I dropped my stick. <laughs> Don't drop your stick. <laughs> mm. All right, last week's hot takes got a little spicy. What a show. What a show. I'm almost afraid to read this next one. <laughs> right? We don't we don't pre-read these. Nope. You should be able to see the salary of every other employee at your company. Wow. Um. True. Yeah, why not? Yeah, sure. I mean. Let me know what I have to, like, work up to, you know? Yeah. Like, what's, uh. Because. What's possible? When, I, when I'm negotiating wage at, like, a new job. Mm-hmm. Like, they always come back to me with. Well, this is what is equitable for the company based on the position. And I'm like, but I need more. Yeah. Like, well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> You're a multi-million dollar company. Yeah, come on. You can do better. You can do better. <laughs> Peeing in pools is gross. True. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty gross. That is true. Can't say I've not never done it. <laughs> I think we're all guilty <laughs> of that one. We'll leave it at that. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> oh. Nickelodeon is better than the Disney Channel. Oh, controversy. I'm, not now. Not now. Definitely 80s, back in the 90s. 80s, 90s? Yes. Mm-hmm. Currently, no. 
I mean, you got yeah. Disney Plus. Yeah. You got is there even Marvel a, Universe? Is there got... even a Disney Channel anymore? I think probably. So. Really? Mm-hmm. And Disney Junior. Oh wow! How's your channel? I don't know. I don't have cable. No. I just thought it was all streaming now. Nope. Ah. Yeah. Learn something every day. Yeah. I mean, you got to pay extra for those channels, but they don't just come, get you. come with the basic. Ch- you know. That'll get you. No. The office is better than Parks and Recreation. I'm gonna say true. I will say true as well. Kind of. Because I've okay. only watched a few episodes of each show, to be honest. Oh, really? And both are really good, so I don't know. I think that for me, because I watched The Office first, Parks and Rec seemed like, oh. like it was trying to be a spin off. Yeah, there's a lot of shows that I've kind of done. You know that, what I right? mean? Like, even though it wasn't a spin-off, like, it it seemed, I mean, it was filmed the same type. And... All I know is Parks and Rec had one of the funniest uh, segments I've ever seen with, like, it, I don't know, they were paintballing. Mm. <laughs> they were, like, paintballing in the office, and <laughs> I don't know, it was, like, in slow motion, and they were, like, they dove and shot the paintballs <laughs> in slow motion. I don't know. It was good. Oh, and then, um, what's the guy's name from The Hangover? Um, oh, um, I don't know. He threw like a a, a paintball grenade or something. <laughs> I blew up everything. Maybe I'm making it up. I don't know. Don't no, let the truth yeah. get in the way of a good story. I mean, they're definitely both very funny. Yeah. But, yeah. What's your That's take? Pretty... What's your hot take? Yeah. Parks and Rec or The Office? Jacob deserved to end up with Bella. Um, is that I, what I think it is? I think we might be a little too old for this one. Is that? No, that's um, I watched that. Um, um gl- glitter vampires. Glitter vampires. Glitter um, vampires. Uh, uh, not, Twilight. Twilight. I was thinking True Blood. Have you seen True Blood? True Blood, yeah. It was good for like season one and two. Your my thoughts exactly. <laughs> we were just talking about this. Was what was the other show? Uh, but we then, were talking about Manifest and uh, and uh, Lost. Lost, yeah. Uh, but yeah, after I think True Blood after season like season three and on, it they started getting into like fairies and nymphs and trying to keep the vampires. It was just. Yeah, it got too complicated. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I, I liked the simple vampires were part of society. Totally agree. idea, but yeah, um, that's cool. But I'll, I'll say yeah, I'll say yeah. Jacob deserved to be with Bella. I don't know who she ended up with. I can't, I'm not sure about that. But yeah, I couldn't tell you either. I'm pretty sure I know who the two characters are that we're uh, talking about. Pretty sure. Wait. Was Jacob the vampire? Pretty sure, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Uh, the main main guy, Jacob. the main glowing glitter vampire. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Because I don't remember the um, the werewolf's name. Oh, Edward. Edward was the vampire. So Jacob was the werewolf. Oh, Jacob was the werewolf, right? Yeah. I will go with yeah. yeah. You're right. Because if I remember correctly, they were friends first. Like they knew each other longer. Mm. But yeah. Mm. Mm. But then Jacob's got, or then Edward's got the new kid in town. Yeah. Vibe going. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of like Edward. Yeah. Glitter vampire? Yeah. yeah. Although I am a werewolf, so. Huh. Huh. It's good to know. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I prefer Chinese food over Mexican food. Oh. Huh. Um. 
definitely have more Mexican food than Chinese food. I would have to say in this town, definitely Mexican food over Chinese food. Yeah. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Yeah. The music I listen to affects my mood. I would flip that on its head and say the music I listen to, or my mood affects the li- music I listen to. Well, <laughs> pump the brakes. Because ah. I listen to like basically like how I feel. Like I don't turn on mm. the radio and say. I see what you're saying. Well, I'm gonna be sad because this song makes me sad. I'll get in the car and I'll be like, "I'm jazzed. I'm gonna listen to." Yeah. Something heavy. So I think my mood dictates the music. You're right. I agree. I definitely agree. Yeah. yeah. But. Yeah. Because. um. But I do believe that music can affect your mood. Oh, yeah. For sure. Mm-hmm. Because if uh, Rocket Man comes on. Oh, yeah. I can't listen to it or I'll cry. Really? I will cry oh. every time I hear Rocket Man. Yeah. Some. Oh. Uh, he's, he's leaving Twitter. Right. It, okay. Yeah. 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 I, I thought I just heard some news about yep, the latest <sighs> jumping ship. It's gonna be a know. it's gonna be a shell of a social. Just, just kidding. I don't. Whatever. You know. Twitter. Who cares? Right. Um. It'll wax and wane. Aliens exist. You know, I never thought aliens existed, but then I started, like, kind of listening to a little bit of, like, quantum physics Mm -hmm. talk, Mm -hmm. and it's like, there could be replicas of replicas of this galaxy that, like... Oh, they definitely exist. So, like, alien, the word alien is so broad. Like, there's a little microscopic species of stuff just on this planet that you would consider alien, right? Right. And there's there's other organisms on other planets, so that's alien, right? But are they living organisms? Are they? I don't know if we've proven or disproven. I mean, but are microscopic organisms, like... I mean, even if you think that each galaxy has the potential... To have a life form. Like, we haven't even explored the next galaxy. Yeah. And so... You'd be ignorant to think that there's not other life. There even, you know... Right? I think the better question is, does other life exist? Yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean, they're alien to us. That's what aliens is to us, right? Which is different. I mean, but I don't think that there's the, you know, green guys with... Oh, there's definitely those two and lizard people and yeah. guy, the guys in the black yeah. coats and creature of the black men in black. Yeah. Oh, there's without that. a doubt, without a doubt, especially in New York. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of that, there are no. government secrets we are not. We are better off not knowing. Um, some people maybe. Some people are definitely better off not knowing, I'm sure. Me, on the other hand, let me know. Cause you think you can handle it? We already know. We, I mean, we're just talking about aliens. Mm-hmm. We already know there's other. There's way more stuff going on. Like what? Where? Where? That can be explained. We're an intergalactic TV show that mm-hmm. uh, the aliens are just filming our, our moves and watching yeah. us and laughing at us. Living our Show lives. me what you've got. I can like, handle it. Yeah. What? Why yeah. can't I handle it? You know, the big push right now is to release the JFK documents. But didn't they? Didn't they just seal it up for even longer or something like that? I don't know. I haven't. I haven't kept up on it. I just know that there's like a big push because they've reached the statute of limitations or whatever yeah, it's called then, yeah yeah so they're, they're so able was, to be released it was supposed to be unsealed right but then yeah. they like delayed it or delayed something, it yeah. right and so a bunch of bull yeah you know 
Maybe he was a time traveler. Uh, dude, have you seen those videos? Um, where like it, it's back in like the seventies or eighties. Oh, and like the and all of a sudden like someone uh, dressed like now will just like appear. Will that too, or like somebody will just appear, like in out of thin air. Like there's even videos from now, but and then there's like old um, pictures or videos of like somebody like talking on a cell phone, like from the you know 60s, 70s or something like that. When they weren't even. There's just some stuff that can't be explained. Yeah, mm-hmm. that is for sure. It was kind of creepy. Mm-hmm. One more? One more? One more. One more hot take, and then we'll get into uh, top five. I love the bodies. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. That one. Yeah. Sometimes we gotta cut bread it. I mean, the concept of fake and real are two completely different things. <laughs> or are they? I mean, do that what you will. Uh... <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. This just got way worse. Wow, hot takes. Hot takes. Wow. You're going to make me lose my breath. Man, we're not going to talk about incest. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Come that's on. Not, you want to you want to get a show t- that's not even monetized, never monetized? <laughs> it's not even family oriented. <laughs> oh. Lord. Flying is unsafe. <laughs> What? Well, you go man, from there to two there. complete opposites. Maybe we should have like shuffled North the deck. Pole to should've South Should have shuffled the deck. <laughs> well, he's unsafe. Um, yeah, only if it crashes. I mean, yeah. So then I would argue that flying is safe. Yeah. Crashing is unsafe. It's yeah. But flying itself is safe. That's a stupid hot take. <laughs> One more. Me, but I'd rather kill my landlord than my boss. Yeah, it doesn't work for me either. I mean, if by landlord you mean I think the more... bank that holds the note for my house. <laughs> I think more people would say boss, but all right, one more. Okay, one more. <laughs> one more. <laughs> a global warming is the biggest threat of our generation. Nah. I think, I think nuclear weapons are the biggest threat to our generation. To anybody's generation. Global warming. I would say I would say that's true. Go Beca- on. Because Yes, during like the Cold War, nuclear fallout would have been catastrophic. But I think climate change is at a point that a nuclear war now could potentially push us over the edge to where the climate couldn't recover from it. So I think it's a bigger consideration. With I see what you're saying. Everything that we have to consider now, like people but, are saying, like electric cars are stupid because you have to mine for the lithium for the batteries and you have to power electricity to charge them. So, but that's related to climate change. But so I mean, it's just, we're just getting closer and closer to the sun, aren't we? We're just getting sucked into the sun, aren't we? Isn't that how that works? I don't think so. No. We don't get closer to the sun every, every... No, because I think that that's why they say that like they're predicting the world will end by the sun exploding because I mean we're never getting 
closer mm-hmm. to like the sun will explode before we get hmm. close to it. At least that's my understanding. Well, why couldn't we go into another ice age? You know, probably just because it's proven that the world's getting hotter. Why? Because we're getting closer to the sun? No, because we have less atmosphere that is absorbing the carbon. So the atmosphere doesn't exchange gases as easily, so the heat stays in. But why? Is it our fault? Yeah. So it's all our fault. I mean, I would say 99.9%. We're taking up the natural resources. We're burning the carbon. Oh, man. What a life. What a life. You know? I, you know, that's, that's a, I mean. But then you have, like, Texas, like, freezing last year. The, like, I don't know, right? Right. But I think that's just due to a change in weather, weather patterns. Because then you look at, like, North and South Dakota, and they didn't get as much snow as they normally do. Well, so it's because like the so they're Earth, getting they're getting warmer, but because the axis the axis is always like tilting in different directions, right? Yeah. So, and you also have to consider we've only been keeping track of weather for yeah so many years, so we don't even have a full account if this is a normal pattern. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure we're definitely messing. Messing with some things, but right. Uh, I feel we got deep this episode. Yeah, that got way too deep. Let's let's get out of the deepness. Good. Let's get into this week's top five. Top five. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's blow through these. Otherwise, right. it's gonna be our longest show ever. Long What's your number five? Number five. Going to Home Alone. <laughs> okay. Enough said. Yeah. Home Alone is great. My number five is Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh! I mean, right? Yeah. Or is it a Halloween movie? You know? It's more of a Christmas movie. I think I had it on my Halloween list, so I kept it off this I think you're right. Yeah, okay. That's fair. Number four. Okay. Uh, (laughs) Frosty the Snowman. Oh, wow. Okay, it's a good one. I love that one. I really liked that as a kid. It was one of my first ones I've ever seen. Like it. Love it. Exactly. I keep it a tradition with my family. We watch it every year. and Good times. Drink Uh hot cocoa and watch Frosty the Snowman. It's a good one. Uh, my number four is the Santa Claus. Oh, and we're talking nice earlier Santa. about watching uh, the Santa Clauses new series on Disney. Check it out. Dropping everything. Still great. Yeah, yeah it's all right. Just throw yeah. it. I don't care. Barely made it off my list. Um, so my number three. Mm-hmm. Um, it awfully or often replicated, never duplicated. Go on. The Grinch. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it was. We were Jim, laughing. Jim we were Carrey. laughing earlier about yeah. that. Really. Jim Carrey just played that part to the T. It was it's great. That's probably my number six. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but my number three is Home Alone. Home Alone? Oh. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love Home Alone. It's just one of the best Christmas movies ever. Ever. Number uh, two. Number two, A Christmas Story. Which one is this? It's uh, an older movie. Uh, it's uh, You might remember the scene where the, the kid gets the his tongue stuck on the pole. Oh, okay. Um, or the um, Red Rider BB gun. I don't know. I know. I know. I know. I have out. I know. I haven't like watched all of it. I know. I've seen pieces. Um, Just the like leg lamp. What? The leg lamp. What's that? A oh, leg lamp. Yeah. What's that? Oh, you don't even know. Huh? Yeah. Is that the? Is he, that the, the leg with the the lace? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it's a lamp. It comes I know from the it. lamp. Yeah, it comes I from know the movie. lamp. Okay. From that movie. There you go. Yeah. Wow. Good Learn stuff. something new every day. Yeah. What do you got for number two? Number two, it could, it's. 
probably tie with my number one, but Elf. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, funny. such a great movie. Huh? Spaghetti with syrup. Oh, so good. Mm-hmm. It's another movie that, you know, uh, without the cast that they chose to play mm-hmm. it, I don't, I don't think it would have been as good of a movie. No. Like, it's just... Perfect. Will Ferrell is perfect. <laughs> and then the narwhal. The narwhal is my favorite. <laughs> Hope That's you funny. find your dad. Because Elf is my number one. Oh, what? Okay, it could be my number one, too. Yeah. Maybe I should just make it my number one. I don't know. No. Uh, funny, 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 right. funny movie. I had to give my number one to Home Alone 2. Oh! Sorry. The sequel. Sorry, Home Alone 1. But Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Really? Yeah, I don't know. I watched, it's the movie I watched the most as huh. a kid. It just happened to be like a Christmas movie. But, uh-huh. yeah. Um, it was so cool, man. Like, he had the talk boy. Yeah. I always wanted to have a talk boy as a kid. I never got one. I had a talk boy pen. Oh, really? He had the pen. You could, yeah, but. Yeah. And, uh, he had some cool gadgets. Oh, I already have some gum. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you to the count of ten to get your no good yellow belly carcass off my uh, property. property. Yeah. yeah. So good. Pop, 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 pop. Yep. Good times. What's your top five Christmas movies? Let, Let us know. know. Uh. That's it. That's all we got. That, uh, that does it for us. It's not the longest show ever. Nope. So you're welcome. But tune in next time, because it might be. You never know. <laughs> Till next week. I'm Jay. And I'm Kay. And this is JK Today. See you next week. <laughs>